Hi, welcome aboard Lady, Lady Martha, the 2013 Grand Banks 54 Heritage Europa. Uh, this beautiful boat uh, is owned, owned by her second owner and, and just coming up for sale now. She's one of the nicest models Grand Banks ever made in this size category. She has an 18 foot beam, she's about 59 feet length overall, and uh, she, she really maximizes the use of all spaces. So starting with the aft deck here, you can see the, the full width covered aft deck with the LED lights on top, nice built-in seating here in front of the uh, beautiful teak table. Walk down to the swim platform here and it's an elongated swim platform with staple rails down there for easy access to the water. There's four chairs out here for this side, the inboard side of the table, um, and just a beautiful expansive space, uh, great for entertaining. On the opposite side, um, we have an <coughs> aft um, steering station control with balanced stern thruster, um, sink here, and storage below. We have access to the engine room and storage area lazarette here. We'll take a look at that because we can get to it from the inside as well, but it's an easy place to get to for, uh, uh, from the aft deck. So staircase to the flybridge is, is here. It's just a few steps up. It's angled at a perfect angle. It's a very, very easy thing to do. So. If we take a walk um, up forward here, all the side decks, you know, like in all Grand Banks, very high rails, very, very strong. Um, I can walk straight forward here and be able to transit this path, passage no matter what weather we're in and feel very safe and comfortable. <clears throat> On this boat, we have a separate entertaining area up forward here built into the foredeck and it allows a great place to come up and enjoy the sun, have a cocktail, just a, another spot and having separate areas on a boat like this really means a lot in the long run. So looking, looking forward up here we have a more traditional style Grand Banks anchor platform set up with space for two anchors. Uh, this one's set up with a couple hundred feet of, uh, of straight chain. The other one usually is set up with road and about 20 feet of line. On this side we have just uh, fender storage and we have a, a place to store lines and fenders um, and other goodies you might have up here in the foredeck. Uh, windlass is uh, operated with a remote control that's inside now. That hatch goes down over the forward stateroom. On the uh, outboard sides here, there's some, a space cavity that wasn't doing anything and we open that up to be a huge storage locker. It's big enough for me to lie down in. You have one on the opposite side too. Can't have enough storage. So heading back aft, same exact way, uh, very easy transit space. We have side boarding gates, port and starboard. Here's the starboard side. So we have one to, on the opposite side. And then, of course, at a floating dock, you can board uh, right from the transom onto the swim platform and come up that way. We, we come up to this, this uh, aft section. Uh, this particular one has a 13-foot Boston Whaler on the back. It's a tender. Her uh, Airtex 1,000-pound crane is on the side. Very easy, convenient way with a lot of space to get her overboard. And even with the dinghy up here, we've got a ton of room for other deck chairs or you know, other toys up in this area here. Really, really nice. This whole area just forward is a wet bar. So it's set up with a, with a gas grill, a refrigerator on this side. So real simple right there. And then storage underneath here and sink on top and storage on that side. Moving forward, huge El to starboard here. You know, very comfortable, good storage underneath all of it. On this port side, nice to tee as well, storage below. And then across the front, two nice stid seats and another bench seat, so three seats across. And then this helm will mirror the one we see down below, but there's a Garmin 15-inch uh, screen in the center. <clears throat> and then uh, stabilizer controls on this side, the uh, Cummins uh, vessel views on this side, and the bow and stern thruster there. Um, storage lockers outboard uh, on both sides and then underneath the, underneath the dash. This one has a full enclosure up here with, uh, with hard glass that you can open the panels on the sides or on the front to open it up and let the fresh air in. Coming into the salon, again, you can feel a, a very, a very spacious uh, room in, the, in this area. And unlike the pilot house boat, you only have this eight inch step transiting between the pilot area or galley area and the salon itself. So it virtually feels like you're on one level. So even sitting here in the salon, you can talk to anybody up forward like you're all in the same room. It's a really, really nice fe feature. You really appreciate it more and more when you're on the boat itself. All of the, uh, the settee on the port side, has uh, drawers underneath uh, 
all the way down and they're nice and deep. Outboard here we have lockers that open that has bottle storage in it for the, for the bar. There's glass storage built into here and a custom locker right between these two actual custom uh, chairs that were built for the original owners, but very, very high end. And then as you walk into the entranceway, you have a wet bar arrangement here with refrigerator, freezer, and ice maker. So that, in combination with the bottle storage, works great for your bar setup. <clears throat> Coming forward, it's just that one step up. Beautiful U-shaped galley, and this galley has just about everything I could think of wanting to put in it and a place for it to go. So there's two sub-zero drawers on this side. So there's refrigerator, freezer. There's a magic corner in here that makes tremendous use of how much space is in that deep counter over there. And instead of having to go through the top of the counter, it allows you to use this storage here and just put it back on top uh, on that outboard, uh, outboard spot without having to go there through the countertop. And then this uh, first owner uh, who has gas in her in her homes, really liked to have gas on the boat and really cooked every day. So she had us put gas in, in the boat for her uh, cooked up and deep storage drawers below, right down three, and then trash on this side, and then overhead galley storage lockers for dishware, other storage inside this end, and then <clears throat> deep sink, a uh, filtered water on this side, spigot comes out on that one. On the opposite side, right across from the galley, we have this an another LCT. Again, same kind of storage below. Two chairs that are very low and heavy. They're not the kind that will tip over, so they work really nice in this section. Um, but again, it's a whole other area. We were talking about areas like up on the bow. So you've got stern, bow, bridge. This is a separate area in the main level. So some of that storage that you see here is additional galley storage. So you can see how they packed that one with water. There's another one around the front and then more underneath the uh, cushions. So coming up into this area, you have port and starboard um, doors for the pilot house right out to the side deck on both sides. You have screens if they're open. You have those at the back deck too. So you have a single stid seat for helm inside here. And from this station, it feels like I'm right at the bow. So driving the boat from down here in a lot of boats is a deficit station. This one is easy peasy. Really simple for me to operate the boat in here, get out to either deck through the side deck access. Full electronics array here, uh, NIAD stabilization, excuse me, Westmar stabilization, ONAN generator, the bow and stern thruster, all of your, um, all of your circuit breakers are there, our battery switches through the uh, electronic uh, usage, start stops are there. Just a really nice space. Those big windows and where this is set forward make all the difference in how this uh, area operates. Nice chart locker on this side. Fire system here some level indicators for the gray tank and for the inverter. All right, so electrical panels here. So 24 volt, 220 and 110 at an easy level. I can walk down and just stand right at it. Storage here again, and then a simple few steps below decks. If you turn aft, you walk right into the uh, midships master, which is thwart ships queen size or, or larger berth, very, very low, so it's easy to just walk up and sit in it. Um, it has storage underneath it via some drawers and then beautiful hanging locker space, all cedar lined in the back, a couple of shelves on the bottom, very nice. And then here again, nice shelving all the way through for storage and that outboard on both sides of the berth, another locker, drawers below. Um, on the opposite side, they've made pocket doors here so that we get the full beam feeling in the stateroom so it really feels nice and wide. So coming into here, you get a very large counter space. These lift up on top with storage inside and a mirror installation inside there on both sides. There's another mirror up on top here. The shower is has enormous headroom. Actually, throughout the boat, it's at least six, seven or six, eight, but this is huge. Nice place to either sit here or put your feet up. Just a, a nice owner's suite, very nice. Um, you've got opening ports on this side, actually on both sides, so there's two large ones on both sides for cross ventilation. All right, so heading back to the other accommodations, we come up forward, and this is the mid-state room with two, with two single bunks. Um, you have storage below and a hanging locker in the, in the aft end, another locker forward, very comfortable room. 
Uh, the berths are quite wide and I think they're about six, eight long. So it's, it's a comfortable uh, third guest stateroom. <clears throat> As you move forward, you have the VIP. Another really, really nice space. Um, very nice island queen berth, hanging lockers on both sides, opening ports on the top side, and then the same kind of drawers we had under the master stateroom are here too. So there's, there's four here. There's other deep storage underneath the mattress up here. And then, um, yeah, just a very, very nice uh, place all the way around. There's actually direct access into this head on this side too. So if you're in this room and you want to lock that one off to have a separate private head, you can do that as well. Otherwise, you share the two. So heading aft, this is the other way into the engine room. I was mentioning before, on the way, you go past the utility area. So <clears throat> one of the things you'll see in here is a massive amount of storage. And there's also a nice uh, first owners that asked us to put a full-size refrigerator in here and specified the size and all. But in combination with the sub-zero drawers we had upstairs, there's enough space in here to be able to go on any trip you'd want to go on. So big freezer here, uh, big refrigerator here, and then these, <clears throat> they open up all the way around, but very, very uh, nice deep storage, uh, top, bottom, drawers on the bottoms, um, stack washer dryer here by Ascol, stainless inside. Really nice brands, easy to get to. More storage showing it here. So you can really open that aft lazarette and just walk the uh, uh, goods that you want to have for your trip right down into the uh, into this utility room. And that's your uh, spares for the trip. So stepping, stepping back, we come into the engine room. So this engine room, I'm 6'2", it's uh, full height, Full walk around all the way around. Mechanics dream inside here. Look at all the space over the top of the engines themselves. <clears throat> These are the uh, 715 horsepower QSM 11 uh, Cummins. Very, very nice, high end, reliable engines. This boat only has about 570 uh, original hours on her. So she's, she's uh, barely broken in that way. Outboard over here on the port side, we have all the air conditioning compressors. All of the blowers inside are, are segregated from the two, so all the noise stays out here. Uh, batteries, water heater on this side, generator on the aft side. Uh, all the battery, two battery chargers here, as well as the, the inverter system, which is a 2500 watt. Um, switching off to the uh, starboard side, the hydraulic tank for the stabilization is outboard here. Uh, more room to just get in and walk around. I can walk right around that other side. All just very easy, comfortable room. And then on top here, this is that hatch that was in the aft deck. So if it's open, you can easily come down, store anything you want in, inside here, or transit into the uh, utility room and stock up for your trip. All in all, just an awesome boat.